This is the exact same color, except one is an oxide spray and one is a distress spray stain. Are you confused by the two? Well, stick with me through the video because I'm going to show you the difference and I'm also going to give you some tips along the way. Let's get into the video. I love using sprays the most and I just so happen to have my hands on the brand new Distress Color from Ranger. This color is a gorgeous blue and it's called Prize Ribbon. Both sprays can be used for similar techniques, but you are going to get a completely different look if you use Distress Spray Stain because this is a dye and the oxide spray is pigment based with a little bit of dye ink in it. You can kind of see the separation between the lighter color and the darker color. So you do want to make sure that you shake the bottle really well before using it. The spray stain is going to be more translucent and then the oxide spray is going to be more opaque and the oxide spray also has a little bit of a chalky finish although there is no chalk paint or ink in it. It's just a really cool effect that you get because the oxide spray has dye and pigment ink in it. I did want to show you the spray stain on craft cardstock and also the oxide spray on craft cardstock because as you can see they look totally different and the oxide spray is going to be a little bit more vibrant in color because it does have that chalky finish to it so it's going to show up more on a darker surface and i was really surprised at the color of the prize ribbon on the craft cardstock i absolutely love this color and you can see it kind of fades out a little bit it's beautiful on craft cardstock and again this is the spray stain and this is the oxide spray when i'm working with sprays i need to make sure that i am working with a really heavy mixed media paper i really like these distress tags from ranger ranger also has a mixed media paper and it is called heavy stock and that's definitely my go-to paper when I'm using sprays. Knowing the difference between the oxide and the spray stain is just the beginning. In this video right here, I break down the process into easy, manageable steps so that you can create your own mixed media project. And I promise it's not as scary as it sounds. Check out the video to find out for yourself. 